The number of water bottles that are thrown out in one year in Massachusetts could actually fill Fenway Park. The amount of waste, it's just staggering. What surprised me was that a lot of people just threw away items that could be reused again. and It's just unnecessary. Our class was just using a lot of things that would just go into landfills and it was really harming the environment. I was surprised how much trash there actually was. So we have a juice box now and then and a couple wrappers. It didn't really seem like our kids, this little group of school kids, could possibly be making that much trash. Convenience is alluring, but there's a much bigger picture here. The green experiment that has gone on for about a month here at Fisher School was an endeavor that um, parents brought forth to me from IXG, which is, I live green, I play green, I work green, sort of that X factor. IXG's mission is to promote sustainable, impactful pro-green behaviors in children, families, and communities, and we do that by providing green education to our children and to schools. For the first two weeks, we just went on normally, but we measured our trash. We didn't have our green packs or anything. And then we passed out our green packs. Inside we had a thermos, a water bottle, and two snack containers, and they were all in like a canvas bag you could use to go shopping instead of a plastic bag. One of the most exciting parts of the Green Pack to me is the 100% organic cool t-shirt. Everything in that green bag was so useful and the children are really using it every day. And then we were like given a challenge and we tried to reduce the amount of trash we had and it worked. <laughs> The aspirations for the Fisher Green experiment were to reduce the waste by 50% of the school. The benefits initially were to increase the awareness of actually how much waste we as a school were producing on a daily basis. That was very exciting for me as a parent to see their own consciousness about the trash they generated in such a short experiment. We wanted to teach the children at school so that they would in turn go home and enlighten their parents that we can make a difference. But indeed, they've shown us they're leaders now, changing our habits uh, for the better and improving our planet just by reducing the amount of waste that they would otherwise generate by following our old habits. The children are the green keepers. Kids should care because they can be examples too. It's not like parents just have to tell their kids what to do. The kids can tell their parents that they have to like start recycling. And the parents are so excited about this. A huge percentage of, of them have changed their buying practices. Since we started the program, the kids are coming in. They're uh, shopping with the green bag that they were given. And what we're trying to teach them through this green experiment and through our foundation is it's simple little things. It's really easy little things that if everybody did them, it would make a huge impact. The way that you implement it in school, that's what makes it the most effective and long-lasting. If it's real visual and a real-life experience, they tend to remember that more for us. Having that hands-on experience was so key. I think it's the kind of opportunity that kids like because it's active and it's very visual. The only way to change behavior is to actually live it. There were also a set of assignments appropriate for each grade level about trash, uh, milk consumption, how much we were wasting. The green experiment actually bridged off into many areas of our curriculum. It was science, it was social studies, we did writing, we did math, um, they wrote poems. It actually really was very easy to intertwine into all aspects of our curriculum. This is an institution where we're proud to say that we still teach the 
the old three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Well, today there's a new set of three R's, and that's reduce, reuse, and recycle. So overall, when we can tell the students that individually their classrooms had a 70% trash reduction, that's huge. If we were just to replicate what these school children have done nationwide, that could save some two million tons in trash that would be otherwise be generated, and we could save some quarter of a billion dollars in trash removal fees alone. Money that could be reinvested in the education of these school children. Your children can't do this without your support, but the payoff for them will be tremendous. It will be a lifetime of good environmental habits. One person can make a big difference, so if a lot of people start it, it will make a huge difference to the environment. If we all work together, it can really make a difference, and I'm hoping that we can set an example for the rest of the country. It all depends on what we do. IXG stands for I live green, I work green, I teach green, I learn green, I play green, I shop green, I ride green, I am green. 